So I thought I'd film a quick little video today because I realised I actually never talked about this on my channel, um, but it happened. <laughs> so a bit of a backstory before we get into it. I decided to get my boyfriend Dan a DNA kit for Christmas to look at his ancestry history. Uh, because he doesn't really know a lot about one side of his family like he doesn't know any details about where they're from or like their backgrounds or anything like that so I thought it'd be really good to get him a kit so that he could basically find out a bit about his family history I knew he would be like European mostly because he's got like blonde hair and blue eyes and he just looks really European but he doesn't know like what percentage or if he's like part anything else at all on a, one side of his family so I thought it'd be quite a cool unique gift to get him for Christmas um, so I went online and had a look at a few kits and there was one from, I think the website I used was 23andMe and they had a Christmas offer on which was like £50 off your ancestry kit which was normally like 100 and something and it was down to like 50 Sorry, there is a telephone conversation going on in the next room and it's really loud so if you can hear that I'm really sorry but I've literally sat here for 15 minutes waiting for them to finish and they're not so I'm just gonna continue and try and speak over them. But when I was buying his I kind of was thinking like I really want to do this myself because even though I do know a bit about my family history I don't know like all of it and these DNA kits give you like the breakdown of what you are, like the tiniest percentages. And even though I know my family is mostly English and Irish, I have always felt like a part of me might be a little bit of something else. And also I vaguely remember my grandma mentioning that our family <laughs> has stemmed from the Spanish Armada and that could be a massive light or a f you know, a false story, who knows, but I swear she said that. Because sometimes when I meet new people, they always say like, so where are you from? And I'm like, oh, I'm from the Midlands in England, you know? And they're like, no, but where, where are you from? Like, what are you? And I'm like, what am I? I mean, what? <laughs> and also I get a lot of questions on my YouTube channel of people asking me like, what's your, you know, heritage? Like, where are you from originally? And I do think I look a little bit of something other than, you know, English. I would say the ones that I get the most are probably like Asian. I get Mexican, Spanish, Italian. I've had Brazilian before. I actually pretended to someone in a club that I was Brazilian um, for like the whole night just because they asked me like what I was. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm half Brazilian. And they were like, oh my God, wow, yeah, like to really see that. So I just went with that for the rest of the night. So yeah, I get it a lot. And so people asking me that so much has kind of made me think like maybe there is something in me that I don't know about but then also like my immediate family are really different looking to each other so like my dad has got tan skin blue eyes and dark hair my mum has got fair skin dark eyes and dark hair and then I've got three older sisters so my oldest sister Rachel she's got brown hair green eyes and fair skin and then Lucy has got blonde hair, green eyes, and fair skin. And then my next sister down, Millie, and me, have really similar complexions. So we've both got like dark skin, dark eyes, and dark hair. And when I say dark skin, I just mean like skin that tans easily rather than burns. So it could just be that our family has kind of like a lot of genetics floating around in terms of like eye colour and hair colour and skin type and stuff. So it could just be that. But I wanted to find out and it was on offer so I decided to buy one for myself. So Dan's results came back. So he was like mostly British and Irish with a bit of French and German, a bit of Scandinavian. But he also had like 1.4% Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi? Yeah, Ashkenazi Jewish in him. So that was really interesting. And he also had 0.8% Sub-Saharan African. And that was a massive surprise, so that was really cool. So he got his results a few weeks before me. So when he got his results, I was like, okay, so I have a feeling that I am gonna be something that I'm not expecting, even if it's just like a little percentage. So then I got my results back and I have to say, I was really surprised. <laughs> so my results were, oh my God, they're so loud. So my results were 100% European and literally nothing else. <laughs> so I'm actually more European than Dan, even though he looks so much more European than I do. But I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of disappointed by these results. I wanted to be something a little bit different, or I wanted to be able to say like, oh, I am like actually 10% um, Mexican. That would be cool. I don't know, I just kind of wanted to be something different. And also, despite being 100% European, I went down the list expecting there to be like something like, I don't know, Spanish or Portuguese or something like Iberian in there, just so I could then say like, oh yeah, I'm part Spanish. 
But no, there's nothing like that in there. It's literally 99.8% Northwestern European, which is 74.8% British and Irish, and 8.4% French and German, which is kind of cool to be fair, 2.8% Scandinavian, and then the rest is just like broadly in Europe. How boring. And I'm not saying that if you've got similar results to me, or if you're from any of those places that it's boring, because it's not. I just wanted to be something like, I don't know, like somewhere out of Europe, like Mexico. That would have been sick. At least one or 0.5 of a percent of something slightly more exotic than Europe. Um, but what can you do? <laughs> So yeah, there you have it, those are my results, 100% European. But I'm glad I did the test, at least now I know exactly where my ancestors are from. And this website is actually kind of cool because it lets you go into a few more details about your, like, your maternal group, your paternal group, and your Neanderthal ancestry. This isn't a sponsored video, by the way, I just, I paid for this all myself and thought it was a pretty cool thing to share. And a lot of you do ask me about my heritage and stuff, so I thought I might as well share it in a video. But there was this thing here that says on your Neanderthal history. So I have apparently zero Neanderthal variants associated with having straight hair. I have straightened my hair, so my hair is naturally a little bit wavy. I'm apparently less likely to sneeze after eating dark chocolate. Can't say I've ever sneezed after eating dark chocolate. Can't say I really eat dark chocolate a lot because I don't really like it. I'm much more of a milk chocolate kind of gal. And apparently I've got one Neanderthal variant associated with having less back hair. So that's pretty sick. So what do you guys think? Are you surprised by those results? Did you think that I was something else? If so, what? Because I can still pretend to strangers that I am part whatever I want to be. So let me know down below the most realistic ones and I can use them. Also let me know if you've ever done your own ancestry test and what your results were or if you were like surprised by your results in any way. If you haven't already and you would like to, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram. My username is Rosla with two R's. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.